Here at the J-Park, we are trying to answer the very fundamental question for humankind. How our universe began, how the matter is produced, and how the matter and life and their diversity emerged. J-Park stands for Japan Proton Accelerator Research Complex. It is located about 130 kilometers north of Tokyo. J-Park is funded from MEXT, the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology. It is a unique multi-purpose research facility engaged in basic science and industrial applications based on world-class high-intensity proton accelerators. J-Park is open for any users from universities, research institutes, and industries from all over the world. J-Park produces the world's highest pulsed neutron in the muon beams for material and life science. J-Park Material and Life Science Experimental Facility opened a new world of science. Before J-Park, it was hard to observe time-dependent structure change in material, but now it is possible. For example, recently we succeeded in observing change of inner structure of lithium ion battery in molecular level during charging and discharging processes. We want to reveal the functions of material and contribute to development in science and industry. Planet is a high pressure neutron diffractometer in the MLF. Using a pulsed neutron beam, we are investigating how the structure of materials changes under extreme pressure and temperature. We can determine the structure of crystal, amorphous and liquid materials under high pressure up to 100 kilobar and temperature up to 2000 Kelvin. Users also have an access to low temperature press that can go down to 77 Kelvin. Neutron diffraction is a powerful tool to locate the light elements such as hydrogen in the structure. Thus, high pressure experiments at planet have implications in a broad range of science. For instance, in geophysics, the beamline allows us to determine the structure in situ to shed the light on the role of hydrogen inside the Earth using neutron. The muon's superior sensitivity to magnetism enables the construction of precise magnetic and superconducting phase diagrams of high TC materials to help elucidate the origin of superconductivity. Since the mass of the positive muon is one ninth of that of a proton, it behaves like a lighter isotope of hydrogen. Using this property, the behavior of hydrogen semiconductors, metals, and earth science-related materials has been extensively studied. On the other hand, negatively charged muons behave like heavy electrons. The highly energetic muon X-ray is used to analyze non-destructively elemental compositions and depth profiles from the surface to centimeter depth. The world's most intense positive and negative muon beams bring many experiments from concept to reality. Every year, about 1,000 users visit MLF and appreciate neutron and muon beams. Usually, industrial collaborators are not experts of the experiment on the muon and the neutrons. MLF staff can provide a basic knowledge of neutron and the muon experiments, various sample environments, and the data analysis method. In case of industrial polymer researchers, for example, MLF can provide the whole picture of the polymer systems. I belong to Sumitomo Rubber Industries. We are one of the leading manufacturers of tires in the world. I specialize in polymer physics using neutron and X-ray scattering, which contribute to new material development. These systematic studies lead to develop new materials. For example, we could know that the surface modification of silica makes it possible to control the flexibility of polymer. Based on this result, we have achieved a 200% improvement in the wear resistance performance compared to our standard tire in 2011. High-end science and industrial application is a strong combination which can benefit society. J-Park also produces high-intensity neutrino beam for elementary particle physics and K-beams for particle and nuclear physics. 
I work on, the neutrino experiment T2K. We're exploring uh, fundamental symmetries of nature by comparing the neutrino and antineutrino beams. T2K stands for Tokai to Kamioka. We have 295 kilometers separating the two parts of the experiment, and that's how far our neutrino beam travels. We are going full force to explore this CP violation um, hint that we already have from our 2016 data. The main ring power will increase substantially in 2018, which will more than double the repetition rate of the accelerator, and that will give us a much stronger result. We would like to enhance the capability of the facility by increasing the beam power and by constructing more beam lines to accommodate more users with both academic and industrial sectors. Just contact us. We can discuss how our facility can contribute to solve your problems.